All right, let's talk about Team City, which is the JetBrains entry into the continuous integration world. So I've got Team City set up in a browser here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through uh, uh, some of the changes that uh, uh, we've got uh, within um, within this project, rather than setting this up from a brand new project. And the reason for that simply comes down to the uh, security that we've got over our uh, our source control system, our Git repository, uh, and uh, keys that have to be uploaded. And it's just going to be a little bit easier to uh, to show you the specifics of uh, these projects this way. So if I go and I take a look at a project that I've got created in here called Gradle, or TC Gradle Test, Team City Gradle Test, and look at the project settings. Now, obviously, uh, when you create a new project, you're going to have to give it a name and a project ID. Make sure that uh, you're, you've got your VCS or your version control system root set up. This is incredibly important. Our team City is going to want to know where to pull your source code from. So once you get uh, your repository set up, it gives it that information. Now, if we look under the general uh, configurations tab, we'll see that there is a build configuration. I am actually going to uh, delete this so that we can walk through this process ourselves. And I'm going to create a brand new build configuration. And um, with this build configuration, I'm going to call it my Gradle build. And I'm going to create. Now, what this is going to do is prompt us for where are we getting our um, project from. Uh, so we're going to look at the previously defined uh, route that we set up. And I'm going to choose that and tell it to attach. At this point, Team City is going to go out and scan the uh, project and see what kind of build tools are out there and how we can uh, customize this. So uh, I'm going to tell it that I want it to use the Gradle installation, uh, Gradle build that it found. Um, it did find that it was there was a wrapper there. And to note, uh, before I checked and when I checked this project in, I did run the uh, Gradle wrapper task on it, and then I checked those wrapper files into uh, the project. So now it's found it. I will tell it to use. We're almost set to go. Uh, I don't want it to run clean build for my build. I want it to run war. Now, there's a couple of things that uh, can happen in here. Uh, let's look at... Um, I'm going to hide the advanced options. I'm going to show the advanced options because it'll highlight them a little bit better for us in orange. Now, a uh, couple of things I want to bring your, your attention to. Uh, incremental building. If you turn this on, it's going to use the build dependence tasks um, to draw out what needs to, uh, to be built and only build things that are changed. Uh, there's a working directory so that if you want to change... Um, if, if you've changed where you're checking this out to, uh, you can do that. There are some Java JDK uh, options that you can specify down here. And these will be things for setting up um, memory heap size changes and, and such. Uh, but for right now, the most important thing is just tell it which task to run. So we're going to save that. And then we're back here and uh, we'll notice that it, uh, it's telling us that we're just going to run Gradle War. Now, if I go up, let's go back up to the general settings. Uh, the other thing that uh, I will want to do is specify the artifact paths. When um, the project gets built, it's going to generate the, the war file uh, in question. And then uh, it will put it into the build libs directory by default uh team city is unaware of that so i'm going to tell it this is where you can find the artifacts with that set let's go ahead and run this build so uh, we're loading the current repository state it's basically transferring down all of the uh, changes from our source code repository it runs the builds and if we look in here we can see that uh, we'll get a list of of changes that have happened we can look at the build log um, 
Specifically, I can expand Gradle out and I can see that this is the same exact output that we had seen before from running uh, our Gradle task from the command line. Uh, we ran the war task. We've got some dependencies on uh, compile Java, compile Groovy. And we can look at the artifacts. And uh, here it is. This is uh, the war file that was built. The name, granted, looks a little bit funky. Team City is, uh, is uh, populating in the build number for this. Uh, but if we expand it out, we can see all of the uh, contents of this war file and everything in here. Um, my JSPs are in the right place. I've got a web inf directory, uh, classes that have the uh, compiled code that I'm looking for. And uh, we've got our dependencies here in the lib directory. Again, this is exactly what we would find if we ran uh, the Gradle war task from the command line, then expanded the war. So there's not a whole lot to uh, to Team City because it is really, really tightly integrated with uh, with Gradle and has some great support. All you have to do in a nutshell is set up your, your version control, your source code repository roots, and then uh, tell it to scan the file and also make the little note in there of where the, uh, the artifacts are going to be. And then you're set to run. Everything else uh, beyond that is pretty much going to be uh, Team City specific configuration for when you want to uh, set your builds to run upon check-in, polling, if it's going to be a scheduled time, or making um, some small tweaks to uh, uh, to the Gradle settings. And again, I showed you some of the advanced options for uh, changing the heap size and such.